Hey guys, how are you? What's up? And welcome to another episode of Toys in My Closet. I am your host, Ebot. There comes a time when there's certain things and certain figures, right? As collectors, we all know what this feeling is or how it is that if you're a collector like I have been for as long as you've been, where you only thought and dreamt about certain things being done that you never thought you would ever see. And then there's certain things that you didn't realize that you didn't think you need in figure form. But once you saw it, you were like, oh man, I really need that in figure form. And you guys can relate. All of you that have been collecting as long as I have, and that are true figure collectors, know exactly the feeling I'm talking about. And this is one of those situations and scenarios. Today, we're going to take a look at the brand new Metal Slug action figure sold by the company uh, or distributor 5K Toys. And I believe these are done either by PC Toys or someone else. Uh, I'll, I'm not really 100% sure. So I believe it's called, I believe that the, the creator of this is 2G Studios. I think it is. It's 2G, 2G Toys or 2G Verse. 2G Studios or 2G Verse. One, some, one or the other. Anyway, they have created a high premium third party figure or figures of the Metal Slug series of specific, specifically Metal Slug 3. You heard me right from the Metal Slug series. The video game, the long running video game by SNK. And this is an SNK licensed product. And as you can see here, it's my boy Marcos inside the Hurt Locker. And this, see, the M3 there is supposed to signify Metal Slug 3, but also when you do the player select, this goes up and opens up and it reveals the figure and character that you want to choose in the game. And you see how it has a nice little window box opening, exposing some of the figure or half of the figure with the Metal Slug and then, uh, you know, M3 for Metal Slug 3 with the, you know, uh, caution tape around it and this is a very sturdy box it feels premium in the back there's a silhouette of the figure made to look like it's the video game pixelated version but it's actually the figure itself with cell shading you have Marco Russo or Rusi or Rossi which is, is the figure that we're going to take a look at today and you see it says Metal Slug 3 and if you look at it it is licensed by SNK Funverse, and this is the company. Two Chi, Two Chi Studios, right there. And it says here the designer, the painter, and all that good stuff, licensed by SNK Corporation. So it is a licensed product. There's also, you know, the banged up thing marks on the top. And the way they did this is in the same way Mondo does their figures. It's a magnetic flap that opens up. And then if you open it, it reveals the figure within. And you can see that this figure is very... Uh, might be a little small because it's in a 6 inch scale. But it packs a big punch. And there is a lot of stuff even behind it in the tray that it comes in. So... What we're going to take a do, uh, do and what we're going to do now next and what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take them like take them out of packaging, right? And take a closer look at all the accessories that he brings, how he comes out of the packaging, and take a closer look at the figure. So sit back, relax, enjoy a digital drink, and let's have some fun with this unexpected but definitely welcomed newly released 2 Cheese Studios. Metal Slug 3 Marco Ros Russo Rossi or Russi. Uh, again, this is a 
one of three that I have at hand. And, uh, you know, they have much more coming down the pipeline. And if this one's any indication of what to expect with the quality, I'm pretty sure you guys will be all in, just like I feel like I want to be all in for the rest of the line. So I'll see you guys in a blink of an eye. So really fast, uh, before we hit start with the actual closer look, this is what it comes in the packaging in two pieces like this. As you can see, it has a plethora of stuff. And then it has this instruction booklet right here. And it comes with this base. You see here, which looks, all looks pretty cool. So now let's take a closer look. So here we have him, guys. Here is Michael Rossi, or Marco Rossi, to be correct, in all of his glory. And this figure is a little small, but it packs a big punch right off the box as soon as you take it out. You do realize that it is something different, something special, and something that um, is pretty awesome to have uh, in, in, in figure form because um, we never had some, you know, something uh, like this from a Metal Slug game, for example. And let's take a closer look. And to be, you know, let's be 100% clear. This is a figure that feels very premium uh, and that is a premium quality. Uh, even though it's small and it packs a big punch uh, but you can tell uh, right off the back by the way it feels the plastic the paint job it is almost flawless um, the, the texture line work on the skin you see the highlights the sculpting the paint job is very clean see the sculpting of the hair it looks very very accurate to the profile in the game he has his red vest with all of his little pockets that you that you see and this is a real material made out of real clothing then he has his shirt inside where you can see his six pack his his pecs everything you know right to the shirt yeah having that tight white shirt but it's real as clothing as well then you have his brace for his wrist, which in this case are uh, that green rubbery plastic, but look good. His belt is made out of a plastic leathery look, as you see there. He has real, you know, uh, khaki military pants with actual real pockets. Jeez, you see? The level of detail and attention to detail is incredible. Yeah, the back pockets, as you can see there, too. Um, it's a nice material. Pockets on the side. And and it's it's amazing the type of line work that you see on the actual pants. There and and how, how far they went to get that attention to detail and quality and realism just to represent the character. Then his boots are plasticky with the laces with a nice brown and black wash with the exaggerated tips, toe tips, you see? Laces and even the bottom of them have actual dirt and grime as if he was walking on mud or, you know, outside in, 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 in war. So as far as the aesthetics, this figure is almost flawless, almost. It, to be honest, you can give it a 10 even with whatever shortcomings you may have because it's a complete perfect representation in the six inch scale of this character, Marco, from Metal Slug 3. Look at the eyes, the, the head bandana. I mean, I can't stress it enough. If the, if the camera doesn't convey it, in the 4K format I have here. I don't know what will, but Marco looks incredible. He really does. He looks incredible. 
So now we're gonna take out or take a look at all the accessories that he comes with. Okay, guys, before we go forward with the accessories, first of all, this is the actual instruction it comes with. And it is in black and white. It just basically is telling you how to swap out the heads. <coughs> how to how to insert the backpack. Um in the back. Here's telling you how to use certain uh you know weapons with certain hands and what hands is for what. Uh, also, you know, be careful, like this knife is pointy, where the effect goes, the level of articulation, the, the stand adjustment, uh, warming up the figure, and, you know, some other stuff, uh, which is actually with some English description as well, but in, in, in Japanese as well. Um, and here telling you, showing you what goes what and for what reason, you know, display purposes. Uh, a lot of this figure stuff that he comes with um, is just reason, uh, basically just for display purposes of uh, different scenes in the game and animations that he, that he does um, in 2D, which they are able to do a lot. But make no mistake, this is a premium figure, right? That you get charged for you this figure if you pre-order it a little bit earlier to 5k toys or if you pre-order it earlier the way i did you get the figure for a little bit cheaper and i believe i paid um i think it was uh 85 for each figure but with the shipping and and tax you know it comes out to almost like 90 or 95 but if you buy it After the fact, while it's in stock directly through them after the pre-orders, you know, obviously have been done and fulfilled, you're actually paying $100 for each of these figures. But look at the amount of accessories. We're going to be here for a while. Look at the amount of accessories. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. That um, it brings. This is... If, if this is not paying... Or getting your money's worth i really don't know what is uh because this is some serious serious amounts of weapons and accessories and and it's a lot so let's start off really fast first you get this box for the ammo it looks almost cardboard but it's like a, a type of kind of plastic or maybe cardboard hard cardboard but it feels like a piece of cardboard even though it feels like plastic also I don't know how to explain it but it, it has the weathering the painting and it looks really good then we get his hand knife really nicely painted and the hilt and on the actual knife itself it is a little pointy but it's plastic nonetheless Magazine strap, bullets for his rifle, and the phone communicator has all that nice green, black, even that weathering in black to make it look like it's been war torn by in the antenna. And this is a specific thing that is just there for. Uh, you know, the sake of having it, uh, for the sake of just having something to display. But this is basically the box that you would pick up that represents the the, the actual um, weapon, right? That you have in the game. Like if you change from handgun. I think this is the H is for handgun, if I'm not mistaken. Handgun, and then you get other ones for machine gun, and then you get another one for whatever, what rocket launcher, you know, things of that nature, to give you guys an idea. And this is in the game. It has like a magnetic thing so that you can put it on. 
and uh, you know you can either turn it this way, and every time that you grow, that you know that you basically every time that you uh, that the that the letter changes, it's just going to give you a different weapon. So this is just for display purposes, but it's magnetized and everything. They went the extra mile just to make it that special. And then this is his regular rifle with the actual, you know, rocket launcher in the bottom. And this thing moves. It's a little tight right now, but it has the, you know, the cocking action. Nice coloring and weathering, and browns, and everything like that. And then in the front it has a hole so that you can place the special effect. Uh, then it comes, this is a smoke grenade, painted really nice, with the reds, the grays, and the light brown hilt. This is the actual special effect, like shooting the bullets that goes on the rifle, looks really nice with that translucent red and orange. Then this is the actual backpack, which again is all in real material with your actual stitching pockets you see that it's open if you could open this you could probably put stuff in it and everything but you know since it's so small i wouldn't really want to mess with it but you could probably do it if you had a pair of tweezers it's supposed to be the backpack or the book you know like the like his uh what you call it? His uh... oh boy! Wait, the thing that you sleep in, that he sleeps with, like his uh... oh god, what's it called? The well, you can sleep in. Rambo had it in his movie. That's that's what that is. Anyway, in the top, I forgot what it's called. Um. It's another piece that is just basically display purposes. Because you can actually, there's an animation where they shoot a rocket and he looks like he grabs it with his hands and throws it back at them. And is launching and it has even the fire effect with the translucent fire effect in the back with the nice orange and the silvers. Another nice piece is Cantina for water. Nicely painted with the browns and the straps. And then the money green, or military green. Uh, doesn't open, but still it looks good. Then he has another clip that goes in the display box. That's just for showing different ammo sizes. His handgun. Nice matte black with a beautiful amounts of detail and sheen. And it even has the removable, what you call it, removable magnet or clip, you know, or magazine rather. It even has the painted bullet on the top for attention to detail. And then it has these, which are actual metal uh, bullets for the, you know, that, that machine gun that Rambo uses in his movie <clears throat> that's some that he has and carries with him these are actually in metal they come in this nice little plastic but the plastic of mine's getting ripped so you can ho ho house them in them and not lose them and these go basically inside here it's just to give a display purpose just a display and they're in metal they're actual metal let me see if I can pull one out let me see this is actual metal there it is. In gold with that gold look, a plated look, and it's actual metal. It's it's wild. So they went to that level of detail and that far. Then he brings three sets of hands with that, you know, each represents something different. But these two here, one of these hands is to hold the smoke gun, smoke smoke bomb. One of the other hands is for the knife, which is great. And then he has the two that are the fisticuffs. And he has these, and these are, this is one 
for the trigger for the rifle or pistol. And then this one is to hold either the phone or the cantina, for example. Then it brings one hand because he does this and he gives a thumbs up as an animation when you're playing the game when he picks stuff up now the only thing i think was shortcoming you know that i would say is uh, a flaw from everything that it brings is that it should have brought two trigger hands one for the left hand one for the right so you can dual wheel and stuff like that and it doesn't and that's a little bit of a bummer but that's the only thing I can really see. And maybe some extra, uh, some extra pins or, or, or clips or what you call it. Banana clips that goes, or pins that go into the hand. So in case if they break when you swap it off hands, you have extras to replace it. Then it brings the extra head portrait with the laughing face, which is really awesome as well. As you can see how they did that from the back. It looks really, really game accurate. Looks awesome. And then it has this clip that allows you to put together multiple stands and attach them to each other to make a big display. And then it brings this base, which is a stand made with that nice gunmetal look. It looks really nice and weathered with that the actual wood the lines in black and the weathering and this stand here in black which you know has the clip that opens and this is actually a metal but it's a metal that you can bend it's really 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 feels really high quality uh and it's and it's wild right because you can bend it like that but it's actually it feels you can tell it's made out of metal it's weird but it's a nice little display stand that looks really good uh, and there you have it as far as accessories. Unbelievable amount of accessories. The accessories alone make it worth the price point in my personal and humble opinion. Um, you don't get this type of accessory. You get, this is the type of thing you get with like a Mezco figure or, 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 or something else in the market that's much more expensive. But we'll move right along. Uh, and we will take a look at Marco's articulation. So let's start off with the head. As you can see, the head moves left and right. As you can see there, you can look down that much. You can look up that much, which is a nice amount. And then you have some tilt, which is really good, the range. And the arms, you can lift them up just like that, 180 degrees. It has bicep swivel, double on the elbow, and a ball peg on the wrists, where you can move it, you know, in the direction that the ball peg is. And this side right now is going up and down. Now, for some odd reason, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but on this side, the bicep swivel is almost ratchety. You guys can hear that? It's, it's, I've never seen that before, but it's pretty cool. Then you have the torso articulation right there. Fully movable. It goes forward like that much. You can go back just with the torso that much left and right and then he has a waist swivel and a cut there too where you can go down all the way that much and then you can hyper extend back all the way that much that's how good the actual body is then the feet or the legs he does have a thigh swivel he can he has a double hinge on the knee and you can actually lift the leg all the way up. The reason why you can't do it together at the same time is because of the pants, but it does go all the way up 
he kicks forward a nice amount and he kicks back and the pants don't really uh, hinder uh, if you're doing it individually obviously uh, I don't remember but I think oh yeah look he even has a bicep a butterfly look a butterfly a butterfly swivel uh, in there too uh, and then in the foot by the boot area the boot the boot moves in the top and it has minimal back and forth but it does have like you know nice rocking left to the right a little bit so the figure as far as art it articulation goes it has a massive amount of range of articulation so you can display them in many dynamic poses which is an absolute fantastic thing especially with a figure that is like from a video game you can put them in all types of exaggerated you know type of uh, of, of, of you know preset uh, poses so that is fantastic so now let's you know put some of his accessories on him so we're gonna start with the backpack let's put it on him like so pass it here pass it forward pretty Pretty easy so far, and then move his hands forward. And so, and there we have his backpack on him, which is really nice because that's how it looks like in the game as well. And it's cool because it's, you know, like I said, real material. I think it just makes it look really, really nice. Knife, I'm gonna slide right here in the side of his belt, just like so. This is what the hand pistol would look like. And that's in that hand. And again, it only has the one trigger hand to hold a gun. This is what the rifle looks like. Putting it under here, and you know, he, he, him having it looks really nice. As you can see, kind of big and exaggerated, but that's the way it looks like in the game. So here we can put and slide in the actual. Um, smoke bomb or smoke grenade or we can change it pull out the knife for example and put the knife also and slide it in we can have it that way as well like so if you to if you so choose to um, even though he does have hands for I, for for this and for the knife for both sides unlike having trigger hands then we have is communicating phone which we can put like this and have it up across his ear like he's about to talk slide his head just a little bit that way as you can see or we'll swap it out and then you can put the rocket like so as is he grabbed it and he's gonna throw it back the way the silly animation does in the actual game also cantina he can hold it and this again is something that he should have brought, brought two hands like this for each side so you can display them with both if you wanted to you know uh, because he has multiple accessories that you can use and utilize this type of hand but he has only one just like the trigger which I think is a letdown then you have of course this uh, 
option with the thumbs up just you know for you know expression and he does it in the game and again it, it looks really cool but again it's also dedicated to this side it doesn't have one for the other side I don't know why it just does just please I'm, don't, I'm just a messenger don't shoot me okay so let's see if we can pose them up a little bit and show them with the displays so just for pure display only there you go here you have some of the things um i forgot to show two other pieces that it brought and again these are just for display purposes one is this metal right that you collect in the game uh, it's very 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 tiny so let's say the metal and then this pile of poop uh when the uh bad guys get scared they basically poopy on their self. It has like a hole in the bottom, but I don't know if it's so you can put it on something. I'm not really sure, but it's a piece of poopy. But if you see, it's very tiny here on screen. You can see it down here. Uh, and, and I changed the portrait of the head, having some, you know, some ammunition coming out of his pocket, the knife on the belt, and then you see, you know, the the actual effect. And him holding the uh, the actual uh, radio screaming, I did back up, you know, for example, you know, and, and again, so many display options. Um, I think I might leave it like this, or if not, I just, you know, have him screaming a little bit, put down the, the actual... Uh, radio uh, kind of close his hands a little bit and then just have it like where he's gonna you know throw the throw the the grenade or try not throw the grenade screaming ah you know Rambo style and again like I said the figure has so many posing uh, options that that you can do with the hand pistol on them like so you could just move it that way have them a little forward and look this way you know actually hinge like this you can display them, you know, in so many cool dynamic poses. You know, like like that, for example. You know? So he has a lot of display options and that is fantastic. So um I'll just do a couple of comparisons and see what he looks like next to some other figures and other lines. So here we have them next to the Power Rangers Lightning Collections Beast Morpher Red Ranger. And you see that they're kind of like in the same size. And right here we have the uh, Bandai uh, Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star Nappa. A little bit bigger, but again, um, they scale pretty good next to each other. Just to give you guys an idea. Uh, and here we have them next to the Marvel Legends uh, Walgreens exclusive Superion. And next to uh, the Target exclusive Tiger Force G.I. Joe Classified Old Man Outback. And you can see that he scales uh, pretty well. Even though Superion is supposed to be a little bit um, bigger. Uh, in size, so that's why why well, he looks taller. But just to give you guys again a ballpark idea, and here he is next to the arcade video game series Dex Earths Earths. I think is the name of the company. Um, Punisher from the Capcom video game BMO, and then I have the uh, Figma. Uh, Kid Icarus, which is missing a piece of his hair because it fell down. I haven't been able to find it. Please don't judge me, but just to show you what he looks like 
next to third party and actual um, you know other overseas type uh, video, video game figure characters related that are you know in the same realm as uh, Marco which is a third party video game related product and here we have them next to the Expendables uh, Barney character from PC Toys which is an also a third party that made a really nice high quality figure of Expendables or Barney from Expendables and then we have the Shadow Ninja also a third party from I believe is the same uh, V Toys Studios as well uh, which is also in the same realm as Marcos and their third party quality but they have real cloth and really high quality to the figures even though they're third party and they also priced at a premium price point um, you know but again you can see how amazing and cool that could look on your shelves and you know <clears throat> third party figures and products have come a very long way it's no longer uh, the way of before that third party figures felt ultra cheap and it was a big risk and scary feeling to pick one up uh, and thinking that it was going to be you know um, a, a, you know a waste of your money basically so now let's go into my final thoughts and end the review and we'll tell you what I think. Okay, guys, here we have Marco Rossi on the spinner. And what can I say? Um, this figure is very, very good. The fact that it's a third party uh, figure, but it's also licensed, even though it is third party, by SNK. Um, the quality of the figure in itself, from the clothing quality, the paint job, the joints uh, being very sturdy and you know and uh, tight, the level of accessories, the the level of detail in the accessories itself, on the clothing, how form fitted it is to make it look so accurate and so good. It's almost like a mini Hot Toys, but with plastic figure form in plastic form. To feel more like a figure, if that makes any sense. <clears throat> and you see, I put him here on his display that he came with. That looks really nice because I didn't do it earlier. But to have third-party companies doing things that we would never thought we would see, you know, um, in our lifetime, especially as video game fanatics, that there's so many awesome video game characters that we grew up with. And that we've seen on screen in pixel form, in sprite form, in polygon form. And, you know, it's always exciting to see when they're, when somebody brings one of those characters to life. Uh, you know, like they've done with a lot of characters, let's say like uh, from Bloodborne with Figma or even the Automata with Figma as well. Uh, with Kid Icarus, uh, you know, as I showed you earlier. Um... You know, Dante's Inferno, Ninja Gaiden. There's been a nice amount. And obviously, some of the more recent ones, like the Stone Collectible Streets of Rage, Virtual Fighter, Guilty Gear, so forth and so forth, etc. and etc. And it's just an exciting time if you're, you know, and even Golden Axe. It's just an exciting time to be a video game enthusiast. And if you're a figure collector, even more so, because you're getting beautiful things and pieces like this. Yes, it's yes, it's a piece that's premium. It's a little bit expensive, even is even though it is third party. Like I said, we have reached a point where third party figures are just as high quality, or sometimes even more so in some circumstances than the actual stuff that you get from big companies like the Hasbros and the Mattels. Um, and you don't have to worry about, am I gonna get something that is good quality? Am I wasting my money? That fear no longer has to be there because most third party stuff that's coming out now, about 90% of them 
is super high quality. Um, they are planning to create and make the four other characters that come or that are part of the Metal Slug series. Um, if this is any indication of what they're trying to achieve or the, they're going to achieve uh, for the bang of your of your buck that you're getting with accessories and the quality, like I said, of the clothing, paint, etc., etc., um, I think none of you will be disappointed in spending your money to get these. Uh, and I just hope that I have the money to be able to apply to, to you know to buy the the rest of them because again they are pricey. If you're an early bird and do the pre-order, which I think it's worth it, you save about fifteen dollars. You'll get them for about eighty-five. But if you wait, like right now, you can go to Five K Toys and pick them up. They're about a hundred bucks plus the four dollars shipping and the tax. So it all depends on your situation and it all depends on how much you're willing to spend. Uh, but I always said that if you're spending money on something you love, you're not going to regret it, right? So there's that. Now, I highly recommend them, but I, you know, I, I understand that it's not something that people, everyone can just buy because of the price point. Now, the other cool thing is that they created an army builder for this line as well, which I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek because you can't have the Marco and Metal Slug characters without the Gruntle army soldiers that you fight in the game. And they look fantastic. Here is one of them. That's just a sneak peek. I will go over him and review him when I review the other character that I have that goes alongside Marco. So hopefully you'll stay tuned and come back for that. I hope you also understand that I tried my best, my very best, to do as much as possible with this review in detail and do it as the best quality that I could to present it to you. It took me a long time. It was very difficult due to the nature of how many things it brings and what it is. Anybody that reviews will tell you and completely understand what I'm talking about. It didn't take me a little bit of time. It took me hours to actually produce and I hope it was all worth it and that you guys enjoy it the way I enjoy doing it for you. So guys, give me a thumbs up. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs down. If you did it, share this video with someone you think might like it. As always, let me know down in the conversation below if you liked the figure, if you didn't know it existed, if you did know and you were on the fence, and now because of my review, I kind of helped you uh, maybe want to buy it or not buy it at all. If you think the figure is absolute dog shit, right? Because maybe that might be your feeling, especially for the price point, you might not feel it's worth it. Whatever the case may be, just put it down in the comments and down below because it's good for gaming or rather figure conversation. Um, and it's excellent that we're getting more gaming related stuff like this uh, <clears throat> because it just it, it makes the purchases even easier because it's two things we love combined into one. Um, I did see that they're probably trying to make some. Captain Commando figures, I believe it's the same fig company, and I should be getting my Battletoads figures very soon that my boys bought me last, last, last year, like three years ago, for, for, as, a, you know, a gift for my, for Father's Day, and I never got them, and they're supposed to come out in May, so looking forward to that. Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, this is your boy, Hebot, and your host, obviously, signing off with another episode of Toys in My Closet. This is the Tootsie Studios SNK licensed Marco Rossi or Rossi, Rosso, or Rossi, uh, uh, one, one six scale or 112 scale, which is six inch uh, Marco figure from Metal Slug 3. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one, guys. It's been great. Bye bye.